One of the things that I often do with people is to say, we need to at some point deal with all those childhood emotions that occurred, you know, things that occurred through our childhood events that we need to release. And you know what most people say, but I don't remember what happened. Uh, and the reason why we don't remember what happened is because we're in a state of disassociation. We want to not remember what happened. Uh, and then a lot of people also say to me, oh, but I can't deal with my emotions because I can't remember what happened. <laughs> the truth is you will remember what happened when you want to deal with your emotions. And the experiences that come up in your life are opportunities to explore whether you have actually dealt with your emotions totally. to then bring up the memory. Totally. The law of attraction will tell you if you've dealt with something or not. Mm. Totally. So if your law of attraction is, like, let's say, partner after partner after partner, I'm getting a constant stream of partners who treat me as if I'm unworthy. Mm. What's that telling me? I have not dealt with the emotion of unworthiness within me. I have not. Whether I think I have or not, <coughs> I have not. The truth is, the law of attraction will attract exactly what you've dealt with or not dealt with. Yep. Okay. What if you do, like, you don't always attract those same partners and then you do attract and you have that once in a while? Is that just, you're still obviously having that emotion. Yeah, see, so that's not a something so constant. I was talking to a lady in Dallas where this kind of thing happened to you. The first, the first relationship she attracted was an abusive man who mm -hmm. violently abused her. She gave, eventually got enough courage and, and dealt with enough of that emotion to actually leave that man. The next relationship she had, the man gave her the silent treatment all the time. So he was still abusive, mm -hmm. but just in an emotional way, no longer in a physical way. So she'd worked her way through a lot of the physical abuse issues, but she'd yet to deal with the emotional abuse issues, right? So in that relationship, she worked through quite a few of those issues over a period of 10 years or 12 years, and eventually that relationship broke up as well, and now she's single again and, and not in a relationship. And we were talking about a new relationship and what was going to happen there. This is what happens to you in your life if you choose to be not on the divine path. Because if you choose to be on the divine path, there's a very good chance you'll deal with all of those emotions in a few years. And after that, the relationship you choose will actually be a perfect relationship for you. Right? Until that time, often what we're doing is we're dealing with smidges of it. We're dealing with that aspect, this aspect, that aspect, this aspect. Or just run from them all. <laughs> or we're running from them all. <laughs> just like, oh, thanks, I don't want to deal with that. See you later, bye. Yeah, yeah. And what would happen is that if we desire to run from them all, then our life will also be constructed in such a way that our desire will also be fulfilled. So in other words, who feels flat chat busy all the time, not enough time to even sit down and, and spend any time with themselves? Is that you? This was what I was like. Is that you? If that's you, that is because right at this moment you do not have a pure desire to deal with your emotions. Follow me? And I know that's hard to face, because it was hard for me to face that too, you know. But that's what I was like. I used to work 120 hours a week and do all that stuff.